Hi, this is Ravi, and we're going to look at how to create a math quiz in OpenOffice. So let's look at the finished example. We have our quiz information at the top, teacher name, quiz name, subject name. Scrolling down, we have boxes separating our questions. And you'll also notice that I've used math notation for fractions, exponents, radicals, and more. So you can actually skip ahead and download these files at the website addressed in the video description. Let's get started by opening up OpenOffice. And that brings us to the splash screen. And for this purpose, we want to create a text document. If you haven't used OpenOffice before, you'll notice that this looks very similar to Word. So a lot of the concepts I'm going to be talking about can be applied there as well. So to create our relevant quiz information at the top, we're going to use a table to do the alignment. So at the top here, we go to table, insert, table. You'll see this insert table dialog box shows up. And for this purpose, in our size, we want to have three columns. So I'm going to use the arrow here to increase this to three. And for rows, we want only one row. So I'm going to use the down arrow to decrease this to one. Next, we don't want any border for this example for this table, so I'm going to uncheck that. Hit OK, and you'll see that our three box table shows up. So suppose in the first box we want to include the teacher name, in this case, Mr. Mac. And then in the center box, we want to include what quiz we're talking about. So for example, maybe it's a quiz on factoring or a chapter three test. For now, I'm just gonna write quiz example. Finally, in the last box, we may wanna include the subject name. All right, now the reason we're using a table to do this is now we can go and change the alignment of each box independently. For example, if you cl click on the second box and hit the center alignment key, You'll notice that now the center box is center aligned, but the left box is still left aligned. Similarly, we're going to click in the last box and align this one to the right. Finally, you can click and drag across multiple boxes, and now we can change the formatting, and in this case, I'm going to make everything bold. Okay, the next step is we may want to include a place for the student to write their information, for example, their name, what the date is, and what period they are. You may also want to include some specific directions, for example, calculators may be used. All right, now we get to the heart of the quiz, which is the questions themselves. And we're going to use a table again to do this. So suppose we want to include four questions on the first page. So we're going to go to table again, insert, table, to pull up our table dialog box. In this case, we want four questions. So that's actually two columns and two rows. We don't have to change anything there. And also at the bottom here, we have border. And in this case, we do want the border, so I'm going to leave that checked. Hit OK, and we have our four box table. Okay, the next step is to resize these to fit our questions. So if you move your cursor at the border, you'll notice it changes, and now we can click and drag to resize our rows. Similarly, I'm going to do that over here and resize the second row. I'm going to continue this to take up as much white space as possible. Now, the nice thing is once you do this, you can save it and use it as a template file so you don't have to go through this whole process every time you make a quiz. Well, that sums up part one, which is the structure of the quiz. Be sure to check out part two 
if you're interested in learning how to write the math notation.